Quadrat. What the heck is a quadrat? Am I just saying quadrant incorrectly? In fact, I'm not. My name is David, and welcome to Explore Forestry. A quadrat is a tool that we use for sampling in studies. Quadrats help demarcate sections of a study area for inspection. Usually, quadrats are square in shape, but some can be rectangles, really any shape that is useful to you. They also come in many different sizes. I've seen studies that use quadrats that are 1 meter squared, and others that go all the way up to 10 acres squared. All we use the quadrat for is to cut up a large sample area into smaller, easier to study units. Let's use a simulated scenario to show how quadrats can be useful for us. Imagine you are conducting a study. You want to examine the population density of dandelions on a field that is a perfect 100 acres squared. It wouldn't really be practical to walk the entirety of the site counting every single dandelion that you see. It would take too much time, effort, and possibly money if the study is funded. So instead, what we're going to do is take a number of random samples. Random sampling means that we do not select specific areas to measure. Instead, areas are selected at random to reduce bias. Let's say we will use a 1 meter square quadrat and we will take 100 samples. From there, we can average the results of the population from the samples and get a pretty good idea of how dense the population is for the whole area. What else can we use quadrats for? Besides population density, we may also want to see vegetation cover. This could be the overall cover of a site or to determine the cover of a specific species or class of plants. Sometimes we may even use a smaller quadrat inside of a larger one to help estimate the percent of cover a plant might have. Now that we have an idea of how a quadrat is used, let's build our own out of some PVC pipe. A pretty useful quadrat size is one meter square, so we're going to build that. However, you can use these directions to build any size that you like, just substitute for the size you desire. Several supplies will be needed. We're going to need measuring tape, a marker, a saw or a clipper, and some PVC glue. Next, we will want to go to the hardware store, buy local if you can, and pick up at least 4 meters of half inch thick PVC pipe, as well as 4 90 degree corners that will fit half inch thick PVC pipe on both ends. I was able to get these supplies for about $10. Our first task is to cut 4 sections of PVC pipe to exactly 1 meter long. If you're using an imperial tape measure, one meter is equal to about 39.37 inches. Mark the PVC pipe at exactly one meter using the marker and then cut off the excess. If you're young, please ask your parents or an adult to do the cutting. Next, take one section of one meter pipe and add one of the corner pieces on either side. Measure from inside of the two corners along the axis of the pipe. You may find that it's slightly longer than one meter, if so, continue to cut off tiny sections of the pipe until it is one meter long between the two corner pieces. We need to do this because the interior of the quadrat needs to be exactly one meter squared. Repeat this process for all four pieces of PVC pipe. Now that you have four pieces of PVC pipe perfectly measured, we're going to glue it together. First, we're going to do a test build to make sure the quadrat sits perfectly flat on the ground. Once it does, Take one section of PVC pipe and glue a corner piece to either side. They need to be aligned with each other, otherwise the quadrat will not sit flat. Take another section of PVC pipe and repeat with the other two corner pieces. Set them aside and let them dry overnight. Once the pieces are stable, they are ready to be put together and taken out into the field. We don't glue all the pieces together because it is much easier to transport and reassemble the quadrat in the field than to walk to a hundred different sites with a big square. We can also build more quadrats in different sizes and then use the pieces to make new shapes if needed. For example, a half meter by a one meter quadrat. That's pretty much it. Congratulations on your new forestry tool. What are you gonna sample first? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, 
Consider subscribing to our Explore Forestry YouTube channel to receive updates when new videos are posted. Please also consider joining our Patreon so we may continue to bring you more videos like this. Patreon members are listed on each video and other benefits can be found for the various tiers available. Lastly, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more updates. We appreciate your support and keep on exploring.